Today is about the power of you. You will change the world. You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast. Do the damn thing. Where we talk to visionary dreamers like you about living their best life. Fulfill the highest, truest expression of yourself. It's time to step into the past, present, and future with an open and healthy mind. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit. And you are listening to Chronicles of Living Podcast Show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life as extra Extra, extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. And guys, I just want to thank you. If you still was waiting for me to come on, I apologize for the lateness. I had some technical difficulties for real. (laughs) So to you newcomers out there, I just want to welcome you to the show. Thank you for tuning in. This show is really about everyday life. You know, us everyday people with the things we go through in life and you know, how we can navigate through those things, how we can look at things from a different angle so that we can move forward and not continue to look backwards. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's a good thing to look back with for, okay? So that's what the show is really all about. And I'm just going to get straight to topic because I literally was in the middle of, guess what, guys? Editing the TV show. And my son is on my back because he is helping me out. (laughs) He is helping me with the editing. So um, this show today is, um, I'm going to work hard at keeping it short, but it's the unexpected twist. The unexpected twist. And I'm not sure how you're hearing it on your end, but some things wasn't lining up. So I really hope that Everything is connected, right? Because I moved everything from the office. So, yeah, the unexpected twist, guys. Um, One of the things that I was talking about in the TV show, not sure if it's going to be on this episode or the next episode of the TV show, um, but how God will align things at an unexpected moment. And then sometimes you can be right, right in the midst of it, right? And you don't even realize what's going on. You don't even realize how things have aligned for you. You know, like, you know, the show is is strictly, not strictly, but the overall goal is, is about your dreams, your visions, and your goals and pushing you into that and, you know, helping you to become the best version of, helping us. Let me say not you, but helping us because this show is for me to become the best version of ourselves and, you know, as we go through life, you know, we're on this little journey. We could fall off our path. We get these detours along the way. We get these big roadblocks, these challenges, and all of this stuff. And we don't really know why. But like, you know, things happen out of the ordinary. And you're just like, why, God, why, why now, why me? You know what I'm saying? And it's just like for a long time, you just don't have an explanation for it. And then one day it just shows up and you just have that aha moment, you know. So I'll give you a perfect example. Um, I was talking, you know, on a TV show segment about, and you'll see this if you watch the TV show, um, how me and my son last night, you know, he's working on the show and I was like, look at God. I'm like, wow. My son was about, I think, two, two and a half or something like that when I really kind of like walked away from the entertainment world. Um, I still was doing some things, helping a few people out or whatever. But like as far as me in the forefront, uh, music and things of that nature, you know, TV hosting, all of that stuff, I, I walked away from it. And I was like, I'm going to just focus on raising my son. You know, I'm a single mom. I need to, I want to, I want to give him uh, the best life I can. You know, I want him to have a better life than me, as we should always as parents, you know. Um, and I just kept it moving, right? 
And so we had an aha moment last night because I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. I gave up my, you know, my whole little, you know, entertainment career or whatever to raise you. And here you are editing the dog on TV show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he went to college for the technical stuff, for the computer science stuff and stuff that that I took years to learn, you know, on my own, you know, video editing and web design and all this stuff. This boy, he said, all right, ma, I'm going to help you out. And he took a week and just learned the stuff. <laughs> and now he know more than me. <laughs> he know more programs than me in like a week. I'm like, okay, all right, I should feel bad. But, <laughs> but I'm just like, this is crazy because where I gave up everything to look out for him and to make sure he was great or he was he was great and he was good. He's literally putting aside time out of his life to make sure that my dreams and my visions come back to life again. And I just think that's so powerful when you can acknowledge that God will always bring your dream and your reality back to life as long as you continue to push ahead, as long as you don't fold. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't, um, like you could put your dreams and your visions aside, you know, if need be, you know, if really need be and you just really can't. At the time, you got too much going on and you really need to just put it aside. But when you do that, always have in the back of your head that one day, one day, you know, always keep filling yourself with that belief that God will bring it back around again. And it might not be the way you think it, it will look. It, it will be an, in a whole nother outtake. So perfect example, like... I'm not going back into the music right this minute. You know, that's a possibility. I'm not close to it. You get what I'm saying? But God had me utilize my experience from the music to be able to do the podcast. And I'm not afraid of the mic. I'm not, you know, I, I can talk. I can, you know, I can think on my feet. And, you know, that performance part of me just comes out when the show comes on. You get what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you know, me being in front of the camera so many years ago, now having my own TV show, it's like it's easy for me. You know, it's, it's like a no brainer. And then I'm looking at this is three years. So it's kind of like I feel like God gave me practice with the podcast show and reconnecting to you guys, reconnecting to my audience and and making sure that I can give y'all words of wisdom, knowledge, you know, compassion, love, something that can fill your heart up with joy and hope. You get what I'm saying? That's the that's the angle I am at right now. Like by me entering the energy healing field, I want to make sure that everything that I do is a representative of that. You get what I'm saying? So whether it's the podcast show, whether it's a TV show, whether it's, you know, any type of music, or wh however it comes, that is where I'm at right now. So I say, you know, the whole delay, I was saying on the TV show um, segment, even though you ain't see it yet, but this part of the tape. I was saying how, you know, the delay is not a denial. I just believe that, you know, we go through this process in life where we got to clean up. You know what I mean? Inside and out. You know, our I'm always talking about you got to clean up, you know, your thoughts and your spirit and your, you know, and, and when it comes to achieving your, your goals and everything, you got to have the energy. So that means physical. That means, you know, getting on your health more and, and things of that nature. So it's when we get on that path and we are consistent with that path, then the opportunities will start coming back in for us. But then it's up to us to make the decision to go after that opportunity. Because a lot of us can have the opportunities and see that the whole unexpected twist coming our way. And because we're where we at, we're like, oh, no, that's not for me. It's not time yet. Or I don't have this together yet. Or you get what I'm saying? And we can kind of fold 
on that opportunity when it comes. Now, if it's a situation like, okay, you already got some things going on and you just know that you need a little bit more practice or you need, you know, um, a little bit more help, then you're ready to do it. Then, okay, as long as you put in your head and you plan things out, like perfect example for me, like I had the, the TV show opportunity back in November. I think it was like November last year. And here it is almost a whole year. November is almost here again. And I'm just shooting my first episode or first few episodes or whatever like that. And for me, I felt like I already had enough on my plate because you know, I was doing a podcast show and I wanted to be consistent with that. And I was still growing it. I was still um, learning how to be, you know, take it to another level, which I'm still working on, you know. And I just didn't want to start something else before I felt like this platform was at a, a comfortable spot. You get what I'm saying? So in that aspect, it's okay. As long as you don't allow yourself to be one of those people that's praying to God like God please give me this chance if you give me this opportunity for my dream to come true um I'm going to do x y and z if you let me be faced with this certain opportunity I'm going to da, 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 da. and then all of a sudden God plays certain people in your life to that can help you to take that dream that vision that goal to the next level or beyond and then you sit up there and you still wait you still like, well, God, please, please. And and the opportunity is right there in front of your face. Like, I still was in communication with the one network. Like, every now and then, I'm like, listen, I'm still going to do the show. I'm just wearing some things out. Like, we still good. And she was like, yeah, we good. You win. This and any other. But in that process, a whole nother network came about. That I that's an, another unexpected twist. Like I, I just really wasn't even. I was just thinking on a one network putting the, the show on, and then all of a sudden, God opened up the door for another one, and so there I went. Like, okay, am I going to just stick with this one and not take that one, or am I just going to go ahead and go for it and just do both? That's what I'm saying. Like unexpected twists will come your way when you're in the energy of belief when you're in the energy of doing you gotta be doing uh some people they sit up there and they talk about how oh god not gonna do this or god you know but god can only move when you move at the end of the day you we can want all we want we can dream it we can envision it we can all of this stuff but we gotta put the work in first and then God will help us along the way, the, the guidance, the universe, you know, whatever you, whoever you call that higher source that you believe is guiding you, your guardian angels, everybody, whoever, Buddha, what, whoever you call on to help you out with your energy of belief, your energy of hope, your energy of faith, they are not going to do it for you. You have to first start moving and then the little stuff will just come you know what i mean little nuggets will come and i think i believe how the universe does it this is how i believe i believe okay we're forever being tested that's one <laughs> i'm always tested but i believe this i believe they test us to see if we're going to be consistent because a lot of times we can get the mojo going. We can we can be like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, I'm hyped. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then a week pass, you on it, you on it. Then one thing happened. You be like, oh, I'm going to get to that next month. <laughs> like, why should they step in? Why should the universe, why should your ancestors, whoever is helping you out, step in before a week? I mean... I, I, I feel the same way. Like, you know, you should be consistent, like, for a month at doing something. And then, okay, she's serious. Let's help her out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I believe happened. Let's give her another nugget. Let's see what she, what she do. Is she going to take it? You know? So, another unexpected twist, you know, of opportunity that came my way is, like, when I first came back up on the show, um... You know, if anybody, if, if you are a listener, you average listener, you know, I took a two-month hiatus. 
And then when I and my last show was make your last next move your best move. Make your next move your best move. That was the show I left off on, not realizing that the next show that I was going to come on two months later was let go and gain everything. And I was sharing with um, you visionary dreamers out there how. In that time, I was making moves, and I got this new office, and da 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 And come to find out, I had met someone back in July with a whole nother space that was better. You know what I'm saying? Better in the sense of more space and traffic. Um, and I I have to promote, but it's, it's just it's a different twist to it. And so, with the unexpected twist there, it's like, I told, you know... I told her that I was going to um, come back and do the podcast show on the vendors and things of that nature and not knowing that I was going to wind up doing a TV show by the time I went back to see her. And to me, that was an unexpected twist. Like not only doing a TV show, but then getting a space in the mini mall. You get what I'm saying? Kanye's mini mall, Kima. <laughs> Y'all know I'll never say people names. So Kima, you special if you listening. <laughs> Everybody's special to me, but you know, I just I just feel like how God just opens up doors. If you're not paying attention, you can miss it. You can really miss it. And then you can look back months later and be like, oh wow. That was an opportunity for me, served on a silver platter. And I just wasn't paying attention or I was just like in fear or I just, I just neglected it. Oh, however, however, you know, you know what I mean? We got to start paying attention guys. And we got to start, um, acknowledging those, those little doors that God, opens up for us that the universe opens up for us to just walk through and i say it that way to just walk through walk through not 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 squeeze through but walk through the door is open wide enough for you to walk through but you sew up in your head you you just don't you don't know how to catch on to it or you scared to catch on to it or whatever it is we got to start looking at those unexpected twists. And I know I said that wrong, y'all. <laughs> unexpected twists. And just run for it. Like my technical difficulties. We we editing. But one of the wires, we got to share for the mic and for the camera. I, I can't find the other wire. And so my son's downloading, you know, everything. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at look at the time. I got to I got to do this show. And I almost just put it off for another week. But I was just like, no, I just came back on. I got to be consistent. You know, everybody's starting to listen again. So I know somebody out there needs some words of encouragement or motivation. And I, I really, I work hard at not um, being the one to let you down. Now, of course, I'm human. Things happen. So, you know, don't, don't. Don't be mad at me if I can't show up sometimes, especially now that I'm just getting this TV show off the get round and we're learning things. We've had so many learning curves this week, <laughs> Ooh, a lot of them, but I just, I just want y'all to get it. You know, things will happen in your life unexpectedly and rather is good or bad. But if you feel like it's bad always look at it look at it very carefully because i trust me and believe me you or maybe just leave it for that moment if you're feeling bad vibes from the unexpected uh twist like you know a loss of a job or you know finances just all of a sudden get depleted or whatever like that for me when you look at things like that you know the the loss of a job especially at a time like this i i really feel like Okay, maybe you need to go within and say, what is it that I have that I can really bring in money for myself? It might not be right away, but at least I'm moving forward towards it. At least I'm giving the universe something to work with, knowing that I'm doing 
the best the damn thing the best I can. You get what I'm saying? I'm putting one foot in front of the other. I'm I'm working on discovering my talents and my gifts and just asking the universe, like, please give me a clear sign. Show me what is it that I have within me. What type of talents that's hidden or or gifts that you hid within me that I actually can make some money from. That I actually can, you know, not rely on a job from. Because there's people out here that that's, that was on their job for 20, 30 years or whatever and just bam, you know. And and that's what they're used to. So they, they don't see no other way. I get it. When you're so into a certain um, um, uniform, how can I say it, you know, routine, it is hard. I, I, I get it. It's hard for you to, not hard, but it's a challenge. Let's say that. We never want to say hard. It's a challenge for you to look at things and say to yourself, I have more in me. Because maybe you got people that did lose their jobs and then people that didn't. So if you're one of those people that did lose your job, maybe that's God pushing you into something better. Have you ever looked at it that way? Or are you just focused on the now and like, oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying? What am I going to do? Sometimes God is like, you know, the universe is like, you know what? I got something better for you. Forget that. Forget that job. It's time. This is the perfect time for you to discover you. This is a perfect time for you to discover the things that have been locked up in you that you wasn't even paying attention to. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times we don't pay attention to ourselves. We're so busy paying attention to everybody and everything else. We don't pay attention to ourselves and the things that we have to offer to the world. We we just we just don't. So we we got to start looking at these unexpected twists that come along and things that happen and ask ourselves, okay? Um, am I going to live from this? Yeah, you will. You'll live. If if you still have breath in your body, you'll live through it. Know that. And start looking at those things and realize that, okay, there's a reason why this happened. It's time to, it's time to go, y'all. It's time to be on go. It is time for us to be on go in everything that we do. It is a lot of stuff going on all around this world. And a lot of it is really tragic. And so if you're not in the midst of that tragedy, then you know that you are blessed. And the people that are in a tragedy and they are alive, they are blessed. You hear what I'm saying? Not saying that the people that don't make it are not blessed. They are, they, whatever they brought to this world while they were here was a blessing. You hear what I'm saying? And it is tragic that we have lost a lot of people. But we got to realize if we're still here, then that must mean that we got to get moving. And we got to start doing. And we got to start doing the things that we are here to do. We got to start asking if we don't even know. We got to start praying about it. Like, what is it that I can do? How can I add to the world? My way of adding to the world, no, I'm not traveling to go to the different places with the floods and the fires and all of that. But I'm here to encourage you. That is my, that's my gift to the world. That's what I have to give within me is to touch the airwaves from wherever and touch your ears and hopefully give you some type of comfort or some type of encouragement or a different angle of looking at life and looking at your life and looking at yourself to motivate you to move forward. This is what I have to give. So what do you have to give back to the world when in the midst of the unexpected twists that come your way? How can you make that and turn it into a beautiful bow. You know how you tie the shoe, you twisting it and you know, you first learn how to tie the shoe and you twisting the little shoelaces and stuff like that and you just you're not getting it. And then all of a sudden you get it and it's this beautiful little bow. What can you do, guys? This is what we got to look at. You know, there were more things I wanted to talk to 
But I got to get back to the editing of the TV show, guys. And I just wanted to, I really didn't want to let y'all down this week um, by not showing up. Because with everything that's going on, I really always want to be that voice um, that you can always tune into to get that encouragement and that motivation to get you going for the week. You know, today is Sunday. I got to say Sunday in case my mom is listening. <laughs> and so tomorrow is Monday. And I really want y'all to have a great start. And, um, you know, look at yourself. Look at the mirror. Ask yourself. As I always say, write it down. What are the things that you're good at, guys? If you are not working right now, what are the things that you are good at? Start researching people that's good at that same thing look at the salaries look at how much money they make it get inspired by that go on youtube see who's doing that what you believe that you have that to offer the world you know get some inspiration from people that's doing the same thing be around like-minded people guys that's what it's all about so yes until oh so the show the tv show it's going to come on. It's going to air on uh, next Saturday, midnight, on Comcast, um, two ninety five in AT and T U Verse Channel Six. Now, I do believe that's all Georgia. So make sure that y'all go to Chronicles of Living podcast. I mean, Chronicles of Living um, L I V I N on youtube hit the notification bell subscribe and then that way you will know um you'll get the link because i'm going to youtube the extended version of the tv show every week and that's a promise because i gotta put the tv show up so <laughs> and i fell off on my other little videos but i'm going to catch up so make sure that y'all go subscribe don't worry about the fact that i'm not there right now but i'm going to be there Look at whatever videos are there. Be entertained. Be motivated. Be encouraged. Okay, guys? So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, I don't know if the unexpected twist <laughs> totally went with what I was talking about. But I just went with the flow today um, because I just wanted to encourage you guys. That's it. I, I just really wanted to come on here and give you some words of um, encouragement. And I hope it worked. So this is... Wait, before that, thank you, thank you, thank you for buying the books, uh, Visionary Dreamer, um, 90 Day Journal, and Transform Your Life, Discover Your Purpose on Amazon and Barnes & Nobles. I thank you guys for all your support, and thank you for always sharing the show, subscribing, following, whatever whatever you, you do, okay? I thank you guys. And until next week, I don't know what this... Okay, I'm sorry. I thought I turned something off. Until next week, this is A. Dion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real bullshit, y'all. And this is Chronicles of Living podcast show. I was about to say TV show. <laughs> podcast show, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing the best way we can. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. I really, truly, truly appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Kisses from afar. Love you guys. Peace. The Chronicles of Living. We can be whatever we dream. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Chronicles of Living podcast, where you find only the highest vibrations. Remember, you are extraordinary. And if you're pursuing your dreams, we're proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. Something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Stay updated with Adion by visiting chroniclesofliving.com or stay connected through social media by following at Chronicles of Living. Until next time, your dream pusher, Adion.